disheartened, disappointed. Those don't even describe the words, the, the feelings that I have right now. Um, I, I, I'm in behalf of the, the people that uh, survived through the war and who died through the war. You know, I felt that this was an offense to them. This was an opportunity for the federal government to finally uh, recognize their sufferings. Uh, Senator Frank Bloss Jr. is referring to the latest failed attempt to get some form of war reparations for Guam. This morning, Congresswoman Madeline Berdalio announced that the war reparations portion of the 2010 Defense Authorization Act was left out. According to the Congresswoman, Senator Carl Levin, Chairman of the Armed Services Committee, and Ranking Member Senator John McCain were both opposed to the provision's inclusion unless it left out the payment of claims to spouses and children of survivors who passed away. Well, I did not accept that offer because we have other legislative options that may yet be successful. And I believe that the offer to remove the deceased survivor heirs would be something that we accept only after all other possibilities for passing the war claims bill are exhausted. Although Speaker Judy Wanpat is definitely disappointed, she remains optimistic that GovGuam can use the military buildup as a means of leverage to finally get the war reparations. Well, basically, I think what it is is that we're going to say, you know what, we're not moving forward. We're not going to move forward until you address this. We're not going to talk anymore until you address this. And we need to get the Department of Defense on our side as well to advocate for us. They want this build up. How much do you want it? Then you go and you advocate for us. You go and you lobby for Guam. Both Congresswoman Berdalio and Speaker Juan Pat are hoping that the House Representative Ike Skelton and Senator Levin both keep their promises to hold public hearings on House Resolution 44, which would also grant war reparations. If that isn't passed, Guam will have to wait until the 2011 Defense Authorization Act. Clint Rigel, PNC News.